god. Oh my god. Why are you Oh my god. So today... So today we are finally doing it. We are counting down the top five best albums of 2020. Or at least my personal favorite. So I, I, I know. I know. I'm a, I'm a bit late. It's like February. Why didn't I do this in January? Well, you see, I was going to upload this in January, but... I didn't like my OG version. <laughs> Where's the mic? Is the mic here or is it? I don't know actually. You could probably go watch it on my second channel or whatever Cyro's best. I thought it was a funny video, but my list didn't sit right with me because there were some things on there that I enjoy, but I don't go back to. Like Limbo by Amine. I love that album, it's great, but do I go back to it that much? No. Oh. No, I don't. No. So this is it. This is the definitive list. This is for real this time. And I already know for a fact this is gonna change over time. I'm gonna I'm gonna find like crazy new albums from 2020 that I didn't even hear before. And then I'll probably leave comments saying this video is terrible. <laughs> whatever. Uh, whatever. We'll just fucking do it. I wanna get it out of the way, okay? Also, I like I I like it. So at number five we have. An album that I go back to a lot, that I like, um, and that's Weight of the World by Mike. Now, before this, I never really, I, I knew who Mike was, but I never really gave his stuff a chance. I would start the album and then never finish it. I liked what he was doing, I liked the production, it's just I couldn't really get into it. Until Weight of the World came out and I randomly just popped it on. And I fucking love this album. Now, I do like Mike's lyricism and his flow and stuff like that, but they're not mind-blowing. The thing that I do love about this project, though, is the production. He rides his own production so well. Like, some of these beats on here... Mm. Tell me, tell me right now that the beat on No No is bad. Try and say that with a straight face. You can't. You can't, because you're wrong. And his voice is so monotone, and for some reason really fits the beat man it, it's just <clears throat> just the production the way he rides it all of it perfect i love it i love going back to this album dude come, go listen to it please now for number four oh wait hold on <laughs> lil dominique's nosebleeds koreatown oddity this album i don't even know what to say going into this i had no idea what to expect and i had no idea who koreatown oddity was like, like, I'm talking zero. But somehow, I was still surprised. Even though I went in with zero expectations, I was surprised with what it is. It's just so weird. It is filled with so much personality. Production-wise, lyricism, the flow. This dude is insane. <laughs> this album is all over the place, but it's structured. There's a story to it. This album is just full of personality. It's introspective at some points. It's funny as shit at some points. It's weird as fuck. Like, some of those skits are funny as shit, man. Like, shit that I found funny the first listen is still funny the fifth listen. Great album. Great at just... I don't know how to... Just listen. Listen to it. So, at number three, we have, uh... At number two, I have Mac Miller's Circles. Absolutely amazing project. Probably my favorite project from him. Uh, this and Faces are just like absolutely amazing. Uh, the production on Circles is just like so smooth and just beautiful. And then his voice, it's like, it's from the heart. You can, you can really tell that everything he's saying is from the heart. And uh, yeah, that's what I got at number two. Great album. So, no more silly games. We're at number one now. We're at number one. What do I have at number one? You're screaming at your screen right now. Alfredo by Freddie Gibbs and The Alchemist. I knew that this was going to be my album of the year as soon as I heard it. I love every single track on here. The production is absolutely amazing and Freddie is just rapping his ass off. Like usual, but I feel like on this one... He really fits the production better. Him and Alchemist, I, I want them to do more things together because while I do like Freddy and other producers like Madlib and stuff, I just feel like he found his pocket way more on this production. He is just 
Oh. And then the features on this album are just, oh my god. <laughs> Benny the Butcher fucking killed his verse. Like, come on. I forgot exactly what he said, but uh, I think the line went like, used to sell lines to abusers. Now I'm abusing y'all with lines. Tyler, I, I, come on, man. When, name one miss. Name one, name one miss. Name one. That's all you gotta do. One. One. And I also love how short this album is, too. Like, there are, no, there's no time for games. There's no game playing on this album. Just, just, just heat after heat after heat. And, uh, yeah. That's my list.